Zimbabwe is expected to increase tobacco output this year after more farmers cultivated the crop. Tobacco sales could ease cash shortages in the country as a result. Here's VOA's Caroline Turner. Zimbabwe is likely to produce 205 million kilograms of tobacco this year, slightly more than the 202 million produced in 2016. The sale of its main export are likely to improve dollar supplies in the cash-strapped economy. At a tobacco auction in Hahari, the tobacco industry says output would climb after more farmers grew the crop. This season we've mobilized 700 million to buy tobacco from the farmers. Uh, last season, uh, farmers benefited about 585 to 600 million uh, from the sale of tobacco. Uh, we expect it to be a better year in terms of output because last season we sold about 202.2 million cages and uh, this season we expect more because we've got better quality this year and when you've got better quality, the likelihood is that you're also going to have more in terms of output. Tobacco is Zimbabwe's biggest export earner, bringing in more revenue than gold and platinum. Zimbabwe exports the bulk of its tobacco to China, which has become the largest investor in the country. Zimbabwe is desperately short of dollars due to its moribund economy, although traditionally its liquidity improves during the tobacco selling season as cash is brought into the country. Moyo says tobacco buyers have borrowed 700 million U.S. dollars offshore to purchase the crop from farmers. The merchants must process the leaf before exporting it. Tobacco farmers will be allowed to withdraw $1,000 from banks per day to allow them to purchase farming inputs for next season. But cash shortages have forced banks to lower that to as little as $50 per day. As indigenous uh, buyers, we're looking forward to capacitating the, the, the market. It's a huge market. It's a billion dollar market. And we need to have a share of that. Uh, we're going to you know, to work with other, you know, big players so that, uh, you know, as locals we benefit, uh, international buyers they benefit, our farmers they benefit from competitive price. Uh, today I brought in 2,500 cages. Uh, I'm expecting an average price of uh, $3.50, uh, with the highest price being maybe $4.99. Uh, I'm expecting, um, like, quick processing of our sales sheets so that we can access our cash easily from the banks. President Robert Mugabe's government blames the shortages on the illegal export of U.S. dollars, weak commodity prices, and falling remittances from Zimbabweans in the diaspora. Carolyn Turner, VOA News, Washington.